My name is Dr. Rob Copen. I'm a neuropsychologist uh, trained in neurofeedback in QEG since 2000. I have a clinic uh, on Long Island, uh, part of Long Island in New York, where we see many, many people, especially children, um, and specialize in children on the autistic spectrum. I'm Dr. Ann Stevens, and I have a private practice in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Um, I'm a clinical neuropsychologist and have um, been in practice for about 15 years and have been working in the neurofeedback field for around eight years now. Mentoring and supervision certainly helps uh, clinicians and their patients uh, progress further along in their treatment learn new techniques and approaches and understanding of this information um, by being able to put together pieces of information including how your patient is presenting uh, information about any psychological or uh, testing information you have on individuals and their EEG especially quantitative EEG information we can really put together an entire treatment plan that links and this is the important part for a, a patient coming for treatment, links their symptoms and difficulties with what's actually happening inside their brain. And once we can understand that, we can very clearly work towards uh, neurofeedback treatment plans and protocols that will be most effective in helping them to improve and get better. And that's what we try to do. And, then, and in working with people, we try to help them to understand the best way of doing that and help them to grow in their understanding and helping their own patients. A lot of work with head trauma patients, a lot of work with athletes who've had concussions or concussion syndromes, and then the other large group of patients I work with are um, people that have some sort of developmental uh, problem that has affected their brain functioning, like autism or attention deficit or learning disabilities, those types of things people are isolated and they don't know how to put this information together and how to learn about the different systems within the brain and how to connect those better. And so it became a passion of ours separately and then we sort of found out that that's what both of us were very invested in in our own communities. Um, and so we were able to use and are able to use technology uh, through uh, web-based you know, we'd start off with Skyping, but you know, other web-based uh, applications in which we are able to communicate, you know, face-to-face -face with other practitioners or all over the country. They're able to upload their information into um, our website, where we're able to see that and prepare um, the information prior to even doing a consultation with them, and then teaching them about what this information means, how it affects the different systems of the brain, and then how to connect that together. Uh, during you know our a period of time with them that's been scheduled. Once somebody becomes a member of Integrated Neuroscience Services, then they have um, an account, and they'll they'll be able to upload the information about their clients. Let's say it's their EEG um, and or neuropsych testing, and then we will take the EEG and we artifact it and do a quantitative EEG analysis, if not a spike analysis, there's several different things we can do depending on the issue, and, um, and integrate that with any of the neurocognitive or neuropsychological testing that they may have done, symptom checklist. All that data then is consolidated, and a time is scheduled to meet with the clinician. And it's at that time where we're, again, face-to-face, -face, um, using this web-based um, internet service that we're able to go through the brain maps of their client, we're able to talk about their neurocognitive strengths and limitations and putting it all together to develop uh, the most comprehensive treatment plan for neurofeedback that we've been able to imagine that we could do to this point. Well, I think the most unique part that we have to offer is that we are clinicians. Most people that work with others in mentoring and even consulting about EEG information. Understand the EEG and can interpret it very well, but it's very hard for them to convert that into neurofeedback because they're not actually neurofeedback providers. 
we are neuropsychologists and neurofeedback providers at the same time. Have the ability to synthesize all this information and create protocols and treatment plans that we know work and are effective because we've done them time and time again with individuals that have benefited greatly.